Hello and welcome to the Imaging Wire show. My name is Brian Casey. I'm managing editor of the Imaging Wire. Got another great episode for you today. Our topic is lessons of cloud image management. And our guest is uh, Ran Rumianic. He is vice president of cloud, cloud solutions at Change Healthcare. Ran, thanks for being with us today. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Thank you, Brian. Nice to be here. Uh, so as you mentioned, I'm a vice president of product management at Optum, leading our cloud and radiology solutions. In other words, that means that me and my team are working very closely with customers, partners, industry leaders to understand what are the most basic needs in imaging and translate them into roadmaps that our product will help customers to solve as we go forward. All right, very good. So we're talking today about uh, cloud imaging and uh, cloud imaging uh, as it relates to radiology. And so um, we're starting to see this this big shift in healthcare, this big um need in healthcare to transform. And a lot of C-suite leaders are asking themselves, you know, is this a good time to move our imaging data from a hospital premises to the cloud? Do you feel like this is a good time to consider a move to the cloud? Definitely. Uh, my answer would be that uh, today is a good time to move to the cloud. Or, you know, another way to think about it that uh, a few years ago, everybody said that cloud is the future. I think the future is now. And from for multiple reasons. Uh, first of all, the cloud solutions have matured and today are being adopted by some of the largest organization in the US. So as a new customer interested in whether to move to the cloud, you are definitely not the first one doing that. And there are some very large organizations that have already realized the value. Second, the value that is tied to moving to the cloud is huge, starting from reduce your total cost of ownership of the solution continue by your ability to focus on the core mission of clinical care, others and system maintenance, moving to improved security, improve accessibility, improving collaboration, and more and more things that I assume we'll talk about, makes it uh, a must for any organization to establish a cloud strategy if they don't want to stay behind. So how can we use technology and specifically cloud to, to try to smooth out some of the medical imaging processes? What are some ways that, um, you know, when it comes to the, the actual provision of of radiology services, that cloud will help radiologists and radiology professionals do their jobs. Great question. So I'll start with something that maybe is less obvious when people think about cloud solutions, but it's really the focus of the organization. You know, many organizations today that own and manage these large on-premises system are focused a lot around managing the data center, managing the hardware, patches, security, and all kinds of things that are not in the core clinical mission of hospitals. In today's business environment, every organization wanna be focused on what really is the core mission. And moving to the cloud, you basically let the enterprise imaging vendor, Change Healthcare or Optum in this case, take care of this for you and allows you to really focus on how you take advantage of this technology to improve clinical workflow others and deal with upgrade, update, patches, and data center cooling. Yeah, because when you think about it, uh, you know, healthcare professionals are dedicated to delivering healthcare. They're not cybersecurity experts or things like that. So, like, why are we expecting these people to, to do this? E exactly. There is, a, like, an anecdote of how hospitals used to feel that they have to own the tele telephony system of the hospital because they felt, hey, I need to get a physician on the phone in the middle of the night. I have to own it. I can't outsource it to anybody else. Today, it's obvious that, you know, it's not something the hospital can focus on and it can use a partner to support. They may think in few years, people will not understand, you know, why this didn't happen sooner, like in many other industries. Yeah. Like, why did we ever have hospitals doing this in the first Managing place? Managing servers and... Yeah. And... That's crazy. Um, so if, if uh, an imaging services provider has decided, okay, I want to take the plunge into cloud, um, what are some of the key elements that they need to think about uh, in, in the, the process to that? First of all, I always recommend organizations not to focus just on technology, but focus about on the values they need to have. They, they want to have or the key problems and challenges they have across the organization. And cloud definitely addresses many of the challenges we know enterprises have today. 
For example, it can facilitate a single platform, a single infrastructure across the organizations. And by that, standardize the IT across the different uh, parts of, of the enterprises. Second, it can help organization really drive collaboration across the ecosystem of imaging. You know, traditional PAC solutions were built mainly for the radiologists to make an interpretation quickly. But today's enterprise imaging solutions in the cloud or have a much more holistic vision on the enterprise and allows the radiologists to collaborate with clinicians, with patients, with other organizations, and so on. So this is a big part of the value. Another aspect that is common to many customers today is the shortage of radiologists and the need to be able to allow radiologists from different areas to connect remotely and read with efficiency and productivity. This is another thing. Uh, cloud native solutions like the one we provide allows for a very easy access from anywhere without the hassle of managing, you know, workstations and installations and so on. And this can drive a huge benefit for the organization. So by mapping, getting back to your question, Brian, by mapping the key challenges that you have and having a discussion on how these cloud solutions help me achieve them, this would be a good start. So how does, how does adopting the cloud enable a health organization to look holistically across their enterprise? So I, I started to touch that briefly in the previous question and I'll, and I'll continue. So first of all, it's really by standardizing a lot of large organization. They're basically looking at how they can standardize care, right? How they can have the best practice standardized care across the organization. By having a single cloud-based enterprise imaging across their different locations, departments, and facilities, it's a good start. Providing all the physicians are working with a single solution. From the IT perspective, they're all using a single version. So all the products are standardized. So it's kind of looking at the IT layer. This is one way to start. All right, this across the entire organization, dude, this isn't just radiology. Exactly. It's around enterprise imaging, radiology, cardiologies, and, and other ologies in the organization. Second, they just provide their clinician with the standard tools. If previously one department could use one set of tools, another department in another facility can use another set of tools. Here, for example, we can provide the customers with a standard way to share exams with other facilities or with other health providers. So it's much easier to standardize care and make understand that patients get the same high quality care across your different locations. You, you can extend it to other areas like workflows. You can create the same workflows where physician now can read from anywhere through, through the same platform. And by that, you know, you can improve your turnaround time and best practices across the enterprise. You're not tied anymore to a physician needs to sit in uh, the reading room in the hospital. You're much more flexible, and by that way, you can improve care. So it sounds like there's a lot of really tangible benefits that radiologists would see like in their daily work. It, this isn't just some abstract thing of like the data being off in some other repository that, that they never see. Th that's a great point. Like cloud is a very powerful technology, but eventually the technology. And you always, as a customer, you always need to ask, all right, but what is the benefit for me? And this is the way me and my team were thinking when we were designing a solution, how we harness the power of the cloud that really has huge benefits in terms of, of scale, of security, of accessibility, data management, integration of AI, and many other things. I can keep talking about that probably all, all day long if you want to stop me, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> but why we, how we harness this power and translate it to, to things that helps with what really customer cared, reducing burnout, improve productivity improve patient care, reduce turnaround time, and so on, because these really are the things that the customer cares about, these tangible benefits. Yeah. Now, um, you mentioned earlier that that some other industries have adopted cloud or have, have taken on cloud a little bit more quickly than healthcare has. Um, are you starting to see that attitude change in healthcare? Because it seems to me like there have been all these cybersecurity incidents, and you know we touched on this a little bit earlier in our, in our chat, but um, it seems like the, the tide is starting to turn and healthcare organizations are starting to realize that their data is actually more secure being in a, in a, in a public cloud than it is on premises. Are you seeing those attitudes change? Uh, absolutely. 
we, we know that changes in healthcare sometimes takes more time, right? Uh, to to really uh, being adopted in full, but we definitely already see that. As I mentioned, some some of the largest organization move their data uh, to our cloud solution. Today, we manage over 200 million exams in our in our cloud solution and customers already experience these tangible benefits. And, and you see that most leaders that we are talking about, talk, talking with, understand the benefit and understand that they need to be there. And a lot of our focus is to build the journey together with them so they can move from where they are today, let's say with a full on-prem solution to a full cloud solution in a way that fits their organization and allows them to realize value in every step of the way. So, Rand, let, let's assume that a healthcare organization has decided to make the transition to the cloud. What specific learnings have you run across in you in working with your customers that you can use to guide them to to this you know new model of of storing and, and viewing radiology data? What well, what helped us a lot is having a discussion with organizations that have clarity on what the goals they want to achieve. And in addition, have clarity about an important aspect of transition to the cloud is the total cost, cost of ownership. Moving to the cloud with the right vendor should realize a, a significant uh, saving for the organization. And organizations that were able to understand their current cost structure really helped us demonstrate to them the significant savings they will have by moving to the cloud. Well, organizations that were you know, less on top of their cost, we had to do some work with them to map out their current cost. It's also optional, but it definitely promoted the discussion. Second thing is really, um, as I mentioned, map the key challenges that they have. For example, organizations that some of their key problems were really allowing radiologists to read remotely or share exams with their affiliated facility. This is really helped us connect the technology we have to the challenges our customers have and make sure we uh, drive the solution toward the right areas. And as I mentioned before, moving from a full on-prem solution to a full cloud solution is a journey and different customers prefer to have it in different ways. By having this open dialogue with the customers and understand their top priorities, we could build the right journey from to the right customer starting from a certain module in the cloud first or move all their data infrastructure to the cloud or all the way to a full solution depends on the specific customer need. Oh, very good. Some great advice. Well, Ren Remiamek of, uh, of Change Healthcare Optum, uh, thanks so much for being with us today on the Imaging Wire. So show some, some great advice on uh, cloud uh, transition in radiology. Thank you, Brian. It was a pleasure to be here. All right. Signing off for the Imaging Wire, my name is Brian Casey. <laughs>